When we left a little the other day, some people went there and attacked our people. There's no need for it. Nobody is a monopoly or has monopoly of violence. I should be the one who will even come and shout that I will do this, I will do that. But I don't need to do that because both sides belong to me. So I'm advising those people who call themselves local government chairman. You have a few days in office. Hello, wonderful followers and subscribers of Oligo Sound. I hope this video finds you well. If it's your first time of coming across my video, I want to specially welcome you to the platform that gives you undiluted truth. And I want to say a big thank you to you for stopping by to watch my videos. Guys, eh, eh, this guy, what is the governor of Fubara? This guy seems to me now is not the organ matter, matter of water water ministry. Oh, sorry, is not the bishop, the archbishop, the reverend itself of water water ministry guys he has given another water water to wiki this guy is not slightly back oh oh yo yo <laughs> number one in the video you're about to watch he sent a stair warning to wiki's i uh, make i thought this one for pg english before i go enter while i'm on facebook uh. this guy says stair warning to wiki followers <laughs> all those local government chairman will be saying look you get was using to you know to bully him he said May they condemn themselves because they gave you days in office. He won't use me, your mistake in the man. Number, number two, he said to Wick, he said, after he said what he said, the other time was an issue. When he left that place where he made that, that statement, right? That he's going to probe uh, Wick, this thing and everything, where he made that statement. Guess what? Wick boys went to attack some of his supporters. Now he has said, we still want to Wick and those his supporters that if they dare, touch in fact i don't want to go for that again i want please settle down watch this speech of grafu brat to the end leader like this what you want there's what he will add it he said hey they thought it was a mumu governor okay now either they showed them who he be i beg and be like this video before you watch it so that facebook and youtube can recommend it to others and make sure you share uh, me on that nigeria say leaders like this is what is what we currently need now in nigeria thank you I was very special guest of honor. The speaker, Riverside House of Assembly, right the Honorable Victor Kujombo. Other members of the House of Assembly that are here. His Excellency, our former governor, now we're standing the drama, we still call you the governor. Right the Honorable Speaker, Honorable Austin Opara, member of the National Assembly and former Deputy Speaker of the Distinguished House of the Representative. Other members of the National Assembly that are here, former senators and also serving one in the future, members of the House of Representatives, ably led by our brother, Honorable Abiyante, our leaders, Sam Sam Jaja, Senator A.M. Purple, Tim David Breeze. The list is very large and long. I recognize every one of you. But I need to recognize our host. Fortunately, we have three hosts.
the traditional ruler of Elele, who is our host, the traditional ruler of Emowa, who is also our host, the Ebada Highness, and our very river Oba of Obaland, who is also our host. We are in the center of three local governments, Ikwere, Emowa, and Oba Ebema local government area. His Majesties and Highnesses that are here, although the social media people and the, they are blocking you people, but I honor, I recognize every one of you. Permanent Secretaries, Head of Industries, Leaders, let me specially recognize the secretaries of the state government and members of the state executive council that are here. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are not going to talk much because the few that we have said is already causing so much problem. <laughs> but what we are doing today is letting the world know that we mean well for our dear states. We are showing and displaying that every cover received will be accounted for. And in accounting for those money, we are here to tell the world that Elele, Ebeda, Omok Road is being constructed by our internal generated revenue and 50% of that cost has already been paid. Why? Did we pay 50%? We understand the fluctuation of prices as a result of exchange rates. And we don't want to find ourselves in a situation of too much variation. So we seek a school approval, and a school approved that we should pay 50%. And we have done that. And what is that saying to the world? We are people that are transparent. We are a government that are ready to serve. We are a government that thinks about the people. This road is a 33.3 kilometer road that has a bridge. It's a road that will connect the query Omawa and Abobema. When this road is completed, commerce activity becomes very easy here. No more spending of man hour. And that is thinking for the people, thinking about the people, and also caring for the well being of the people. So today, I want to charge these three local government areas. Support the contractor. Let this project be delivered between the 24 months of duration. They have promised us that before our third year in office, that will be coming here to commission it. And I know strongly, I haven't confirmed the reputation of this the contractor. I have no doubt that they will deliver. So I want to thank every one of you for your patience, continue to support us. We mean well for our people. This is not different from the Renew Hope agenda of Mr. President. Our mission is not different from the mission 
of Mr. President. Mr. President's mission is to give hope to our people. And we are here to give hope to the people of Ikwere, the people of Emawa, and the people of Oba, Ebema, local government area. Genuinely, genuinely, not because we have any economic interest here, not at all. We are doing it as a service to our people. Let me thank every one of you for your support. We have started our journey in showcasing our interests, showcasing our wishes, showcasing what we have done in the past one year. But let me remind you, we never had one year. We just started about three months ago. That is the truth. You all know what we are going through. You all know this pressure that this government has faced, not as a result of its own fault. But the good thing is, whether you take it one year, whether you take it three years, whether you take it three months, what we have done today is display to display to the world that we know what we are doing and we are ready and prepared for the tax of governance. Let me thank every one of you for your support. While you give us support, conduct yourself very well. Let me also say this here. When we left a little the other day, some people went there and attacked our people. There's no need for it. Nobody is a monopoly or has monopoly of violence. I should be the one who will even come and shout that I will do this, I will do that. But I don't need to do that because both sides belong to me. So I'm advising those people who call themselves local government chairman. You have a few days in office. Conduct yourself. Politics will come, politics will go. We will still live our lives. Let anybody not deceive you. If you deliberately hurt anybody in the course of maybe expressing your useless support, nobody will forgive you. You will pay for it. So I'm begging everyone, please conduct yourself. As a matter of fact, I'm the one that is most hit, abused. Mumu governor, we don't know what to do with power, is it not? Have I said anything? Uh, so please, just endure. Until when you finish, you go your way. I don't want any trouble. I don't want anything that will bring any problem in this state. I know what they want to do, but we will not give them the opportunity. We have made our promise to our leader, who happens to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that we will take the path of peace. And that is the path we are taking. We will continue to take that path. Don't mind what they say. Don't mind what they do. Peace remains the path. Why taking the path of that peace does not mean we have to see, or let, let me describe it this way. We turn to a tree that will just stand and see somebody coming to chop it down. No, 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 no. We need to also protect ourselves. So let me thank you for all your support. Assure you that this government, more especially this administration, have the interest of the good people of River State at heart. Thank you, and God bless you.